When you need help and don't know where to turn, 211 connects you to services that match your needs. How did you hear about 211? Everybody has a different story. I lived at a parking lot for a year. It wasn't because of drugs. I retired and I didn't get as much as I worked. And then I had to pay my own insurance and we went into a hole because my husband lost his job. Not every job pays, you know, everything that you need to put food on the table and all that. Some fathers don't even get to see their kids coming home from one job to another. Now this was our first year here and we were needing some assistance. They don't really tell you where to go. Say they tell you, you gotta go here. You need a bus pass, you know, to get there. The bus pass may not be provided. I was in a domestic violence abuse relationship and I needed to get out ASAP. I didn't want to call my family. I didn't want to call police. I was embarrassed. So I picked up the phone and I called 211. And 211 said YWCA. They gave me the YWCA number and that was the beginning of a better life for me. I mean, I was living in my car and I didn't know where to get food or so somebody said, oh, just call 211. And I, I think I'm getting an apartment in about three days after two years on a waiting list. The waiting list, those take forever as well. So, I mean, I know we are, a lot of people need services, but it really is a wait, keeping families together. You know, we got separated for quite some months. I know I was afraid um, the whole time of losing my children. Uh, because a friend actually had told me before, I was asking her a question of how to get formula or how to get something like that. And she told me, you can find anything on 211. You call 211 before you call anybody and they will give you the basic resources that everybody has, that the community has, all the programs that can help you with whatever you're asking for. You know, it's funny because I didn't even notice those people before. When I worked at my job, I just didn't see the homeless stand on the freeway there and get money and, boy, I'm glad I'm not there anymore. The hope behind it is actually just stabilization, to be able to be satisfied in your child and what your child wants, your child's needs, your family's needs. The community has been very gracious to us and helping us in these hard times such as Stuff the Bus and giving us not only supplies, but they also give us a list of resources that we can reach out to. So, to me it's very important just to be able to have a stabilized life. There's a lot of people that need help. I, I had no idea. I mean, I'm at least on somebody's couch, you know, yeah. and, I, and we have one car. So, in a homeless world, that's like pretty rich, you know. <laughs> it's helped a lot of people. Even after I've called a few times, somebody goes, did you call 211? Whether you need a tutor, help for an elderly parent, or a food basket, 211 matches your needs to services near you. It's fast, free, confidential, and available by phone 24 7 in more than 180 languages or online.